Here we go, guys. Today, now that the election is over, this is the best day, the best day to make calls, to call prospects, to reach out to people in your market. And I'm not necessarily talking about cold calls. In today's video, I want to talk to you about who you should be calling right now, what the play is, and what you should be saying. Okay, now, I want to say that this window of opportunity right now is not going to last. Every day that goes by, that opportunity is slipping further and further away, right? And it comes to a point where you literally missed the boat. Do not miss the boat. Life is about these moments in time that create these opportunities that you take advantage of. Everybody has the same opportunity. The election just happened for everyone in the country. Right. Every single person has the opportunity to take advantage of. It's up to you to take advantage of it. And successful people, they see these opportunities and they take advantage of them one by one. And, you know, you may you may have one here or there that, that creates this massive, you know, wave of success, maybe, but not really for me. It was more of stacking up these moments. Right. And and each opportunity that kind of came by, by, you know, as far as what the market presented me, the market presents us with opportunities just constantly and, and more than we can ever even realize or take advantage of. But when you see something, you have to go all in on it right when it happens. Otherwise, it's going to be gone before you know it. And you're going to look back and think, oh, I wish I would have done that. And what successful people do is they stack up these little moments. Like if you take advantage of this moment right this second, is it going to, you know, massively, are you going to make a million bucks before the end of the year? Probably not. Probably not. But because you're the type of person that takes advantage of opportunities and you've become that person and you take advantage of this opportunity, right? And then, you know, New Year's comes and there's a new opportunity. You take advantage of that, right? There's another opportunity a month later. There's another opportunity that you spot that you take advantage of. Then you stack up these wins of these opportunities when all the other agents are just doing the same thing, just doing their thing, just being average, right? You're stacking up and taking advantage of specific opportunities. And now you look back and say, how did I get here, right? That's how you do it. That's how you level up, adapting, paying attention, realizing what's going on and going after it. So I want to get into this today. I also want to say that Months ago, I said, whoever wins the election, okay, doesn't matter to me who wins the election. I'm going all in over the next four years to continue my mission to boost productivity in the industry and help reduce the failure rate for agents. That's been my mission from day one. It's still my mission and will continue to be my mission. I'm going to do everything that I can do on my end to help you. I've been in the game for 22 years now. Yeah, 22 going on 23 years. Eight years, the last eight years, I've been a coach in the industry, coached thousands of agents. I've sold a thousand properties as a single agent, right? All this experience that I've had as an agent and now as a coach, I'm, I'm combining all of that and I'm creating my next chapter moving forward to help as many agents as po I possibly can, the most efficient way, the most effective way, the most productive way so that I can help as many of you reach your goals as humanly possible. Now, I've done coaching. I've I've tried the coaching business a lot of different ways. I was a free coach. I did it through affiliates. I did it through a brokerage. I did low ticket. I did high ticket. I was so super successful in all of those areas. I made a million or millions in each avenue. And let me tell you what I think, what I believe the most efficient way was, the best way, um, the the most effective and that was da, 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 being a free coach, ah, being a free coach, like, like going right back to what the, what the roots of zero to diamond actually was actually has ended up being the best way, but you don't know until you try everything. You don't know. You don't know how you can have the most impact. You know how you can maximize all the opportunities, right? That, that are there in front of you until you try, you have to taste everything. And so I'm super glad that I went on this journey and tried this, tried the you know different business models of coaching so I can understand what works the best when it comes to overall just uh, giving back to the industry, right? Influence, helping people at scale. And this is how you should think of your real estate business. Taste a lot of things. Taste a lot of things. Get out there and taste away. Test things, see what works the best for you. When I tell people now, like big coaches, like free was the way, 
that because I'm like, which way do you think's the, the best? They're like, oh, high ticket, high ticket, high ticket, high ticket. Every single one of them says high ticket. And I'm like, no, it's actually free, right? And this is my personal opinion. Like this is this is just you know how I roll and what I've observed and what works best for me. See, what works best for me doesn't work best for everyone else. Same thing with real estate. That's why I don't preach like you should make cold calls. You should shouldn't do video. You should do video. You should do Zillow. You should. I don't do any of that. I teach principles. I teach you how to build your business any way that you want. But at the end of the day, you got to talk to them. At the end of the day, you have to build relationships. At the end of the day, you have to nurture those relationships. At the end of the day, you have to compound those relationships, right? At the end of the day, business is unlimited forever. Competition doesn't exist. All those things are what I teach you. And so you can take my framework and apply it to however you want to build the business. And I'm happy however you build the business. So with that being said, I'm just, I'm in the zone, man. And I'm fixing it into a great groove with training you, um, doing free trainings, um, content creation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So with that being said, tomorrow, I'm doing a free training on my five-step listing process. You're going to love this. My five-step listing process. And I'm going to go deep with the first step. All right. If you want to do that, um, this is only going to be for people that are in my private chat, uh, 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 text community. So just break out your phone and text me at this number. If you're not already part of my my text messaging, you know, community. If you're not getting my text messages, just text me at this number right now, and I'll send you the Zoom link. You text me, I'll send you the Zoom link immediately for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to cover my five step listing process. So here's the number to text me. It's two five one. 312-8844. And I'll put it, I'll put it in the description as well. It's 251-312-8844. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on that Zoom call. It's going to be private just to the people who are getting my text messages. So looking forward to this next chapter and this next journey with you. And just know, like you've got a veteran on your side in your corner ready to help you with whatever it is. And I also answer every single message on Instagram. I answer every single DM myself. So if you have questions, if you need anything, whatever the case may be, just message me on Instagram at Ricky Carruth and I'll be, I'll be right there for you. So let's get into the, the, the strategy here now, now that we're past the election, now that we have this amazing opportunity in front of us, let's talk about what we should do. Okay. So there's two paths. The first path are people that you talk to that said, I'm waiting on the election, right? <laughs> I might buy or sell, but I'm going to wait on the election. I want to see what happens with the election, okay? You have that path, okay? And if you've been following me and, and applying what I've been teaching, then you should have a massive list of people who said waiting on the election, Okay, you should have a massive waiting on the election list of buyers and sellers in your database ready to roll. Okay, now if you don't have that, then I want to talk about after I go through the strategy with those people, I'll come back to you and talk to you about what you should do because I'm going to put a script in the description. I'm going to put some some tools and everything else that you need if you're just starting from scratch. If you don't have anybody to call, etc., I've got a strategy for you, and I'll put all that in the description, and I will talk about that in just a second. So let's go back to the list. You've got this list of people who have said, I'm waiting on the election. So first off, let's back up. If they tell you that they're waiting on the election, we need to understand the psychology behind why they're waiting on the election. Okay. So I'm not just going to say, okay, I'll call you after the election. I'm going to go deeper with that. Okay. So what are you planning on doing after the election? Does it matter who wins the election? Right. And I'm trying to understand if they're blowing smoke at me, if they're just using this as a decoy, as just a defense mechanism to make me go away, or if they're actually serious about buying or selling something after the election. I, I, I've got to establish that in my mind either way it goes before I can move forward, before I understand what I'm going to do. And even if they're blowing smoke, right, and they kind of continue the charade and they kind of, you know, they kind of still continue to play it off. They don't give any direct answers, but they're still kind of like, yeah, yeah, you know, do it after the election, you know, call me then. Keep them on the list. Anybody that said, even if they're blowing smoke, anybody that said, I'm waiting on the election, bingo. You should be calling every single one of these people. Okay? You should be calling every single one of these people now because you've already established the first connection, right? These are warm leads. These aren't cold calls anymore. These are warm leads. They've already talked to you, right? Hopefully, you've done what I teach and you've sent out 
you know, emails thanking them for their time on the phone. Here's some market information or a handwritten letter. Thank you card. You've got them on your weekly email lists and in weekly emails. They're starting to become more and more familiar with you. The election hits and boom, here we are. And now, now we're talking. You said after the election, we're talking after the election. This is the scenario that you want. It doesn't matter if they're not going to do anything. Okay. Remember, relationships over transactions. We're not trying to do a deal. We're trying to help these people do whatever it is they're trying to do. So before I can do that, I got to understand what they're trying to do. Before I can help them do what they're trying to do, I have to understand what they're trying to do. So that's that's my entire objective when I'm talking to these prospects. You know, like um, what exactly is it that they're trying to do? Okay, so an example, I'm going to call somebody back um, and you, you can do this a number of different ways, a number of different ways. Um, you know, you can text them first. You can, you know, there's a lot of different like things that people like to do, especially people that don't like to just call people. I just like to call people myself. I like to get it done, rip the bandaid off. Now I've made the progress now instead of prolonging the inevitable. And now I've got super hyper production. Now I'm in super hyper productive mode. That's where I want to be. I want my business to grow faster than anybody else's business in my market. And the only way to do that is to have more conversations than they do. Now, when I call them, I'm going to say, hey, um, how you doing? Right. So it's like ring, ring, ring. You know, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson. It's Ricky Kruth over whatever real estate company. I talked to you a while back. How you doing? Right. I talked to you a while back. How you doing today? You know, bam, bam, bam. They're like, great. I'm like, good. Me too, man. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous out there? Now you can go with that. That's my normal line, right? Part of me tends to think, okay, right there, I can actually, and you guys can download the, my trade up seller script, which kind of goes through the same framework in the beginning before I get to the, to the meat of the call. There's a link in the description for that. Um, if you want to have this, I can say something like, um, when they say, yeah, I'm doing great or whatever. Or maybe they don't, you know, like if they, if the wrong person won the election, they may not be having a good day, whatever the case may be. It could say, yeah, I'm a little tired. I was up late last night. How about yourself? You know, something like that, that just rolls off the tongue, right? And then we're going to get right into the meat of our call, okay? And depends on the, the, the relationship you have with this client. This is normally what I say it, for cold calls, but this is kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining this is my second call. Maybe I talked to him a month or two or three ago, right? And so it's kind of like I'm warming them back up to get back in the game. And then I'm going to drop it on them. Well, cool. I don't want to take it too much of your time. We talked, right, a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, whatever the case may be, about um, you possibly uh, buying or selling whatever they said they were going to do selling this house, buying something, whatever it was, because hopefully you went deep and you understand exactly what they're trying to do, right? You're not just like, oh, I th I, I, you said you'd buy or sell something. No, you should be talking about exactly what they said they would buy or sell, right? You should have went deep in the conversation before. Now, if you didn't, that's okay. You can still say something generic like, hey, you know, I talked to you a couple months ago. You said you were going to do something by, you're, you said you're going to buy or sell. You can do that, okay, if you don't have anything, and because you you miss that step when you talk to them, but just remember this step moving forward. And when you talk to prospects and they're telling you they might do something, dig into it. Hey, I might sell in six months. Great. What's going on in your life that's causing you to want to sell in six months? Or what? Or what's you know? Why would you sell in six months? Do you want to close in six months or start the process in six months? You see, that's two different. That's two completely different game plans and like action plans. If they want to close in six months versus start the process in six months, there's a lot going on there. And what's going on in their life? Did their kids go to college, lose a job, get a job, have a baby, mother-in-law moved in? Like, what's going on? I need to know, right? Once I understand this, then I can actually help them. And then they actually feel like I'm helping them. Why? Because I'm actually helping them. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't want to take it too much of your time today, but you know, we talked a couple months ago, you said you were going to uh, possibly look at selling this home or buying that home, just calling to see where you're at with that now that the election's over. Something along those lines that's going to roll off your tongue and then you just be quiet and let them talk. You see, a conversation's a back and forth. Conversations, you've got to get a back and forth. That's why I like the Mr. Johnson, let them talk. Ricky Kruth, whatever real estate company, whatever area, how you doing today? Let them talk. Cool, me too. I'm enjoying the days and the gorgeous. Let them talk. Um, 
well, great. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but you know, um, we talked a couple of months ago. Uh, you said you might want to buy this house. Just going to see how you're feeling now. The election's over. Let them talk. I'm trying to get the back and forth momentum and flow going in a conversation. A lot of real estate agents I hear making calls, they just get on and they just jabber, 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 jabber. They just like keep, they just like blow through like four points where I would have stopped and let them talk and then said the next point and let them talk. I'm trying to get them talking. You want them talking 80% of the time and you talk 20% of the time and 80% of the time that you're talking, you need to be asking questions instead of making statements. And so a lot of agents I hear making calls Hey, Mr. Johnson, you know, hey, Mr. Johnson, it's Ricky Kruth over here at whatever real estate company. I'm calling about 123 Main Street. I see that it's blah, 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 blah. And I, I was just wondering, blah, 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 I'm going to be in the area and blah, 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 blah. Like they just keep on going. And you're like, oh my gosh. And no wonder people hang up on you, right? There's, it's not even a conversation. You literally could be just a, you could have been an AI. You could have been a robot, just like, you know, just like a, a recorded message at that point. Like there's no conversation. It's just you talking. Well, guess what? That's not a conversation, okay? You want to create conversations with people. Okay, so this is the strategy that I would go with immediately. And the further we get away from the election, the less oomph this is going to have with that list of people, right? When they feel like you're on it, they're going to be like, oh, man, Ricky is on it. Or that's the kind of agent I want, somebody who listened to what I said, said I said I wanted to do something after the election, and the moment the election was over, boom, they reached out to see what it is that they could do to help me, and they weren't high pressure. They weren't trying to get me to do anything. They were just sincerely trying to help me with whatever it is I was trying to do. That's my agent, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a ma massive business. So if you don't have anyone to call, that's okay. I've got an entire strategy. It's called the Trade Up Seller Script Strategy. I've got it below. You don't even have to put your email in. Just click the link, get, get the script. Um, I've got all the tools there. There's a Red X discount for you to get property owner's numbers. You can filter down to people that have smaller homes than the home you want to sell. You call them and offer that home. Hey, I don't want to take it too much of your time today, but I see you've got a three-bedroom. Do you need a four-bedroom? Because i got a really nice one right around the corner. I'd love to show you if you're interested. And then you just let them talk and see where it goes, right? I've got the script. I've got the tools. And I have a tutorial. The tutorial, the Red X tutorial down there um, is the best tutorial. I screen share. I show you exactly how to filter down the properties and everything. And on that, on that video, I call live prospects. You can actually listen to me, use the exact script, call people that have a smaller home than the one I target, and work to set appointments and and get new clients. Okay. So all that's in the description below. If you need, if you're starting from zero, if you're not, you need to call everybody that said that we're waiting on the election to do something, go deep with these people, create lifelong relationships with these people because they will do business with you forever. And that's how you build a massive business. Ladies and gentlemen, text me 251 312 8844 for the Zoom link for tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to cover my five step listing process and I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning. Until then, get on the phone and sell something.